Hi, I'm Jack Dorish. Let me tell you a story about money. If you're an entrepreneur, you want it. You need it. Let's see if we can figure out where you're going to get it. If you're going to be a successful entrepreneur, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't use your own money. Use OPM. That's other people's money. The simple fact is, if you cannot sell someone on the idea of investing in your product or your service, what likelihood is there that someone else is going to purchase it? Not much, oh, yeah. really. I'm sure your friends and family have all told you, that's really a great idea. You ought to make that product. You ought to provide that service. Go do it. Good luck. We're right there with you. Yeah. They don't want to hurt your feelings. They don't want to tell you, what a schmuck, that's a stupid idea. They may say that behind your back, but they're not going to say it to your face. They're going to be encouraging until you ask for money. Then you'll really find out how they feel about it. As I've said in previous postings on the subject of entrepreneurship, I have delved into this several times in my life. And as a matter of fact, I'm in the midst of another project right now. And oh, it's so tempting to use my own money, but I'm not going to. Because like I say, and I'm going to, this bears repeating because it is important, if you cannot convince someone to invest in your product or service idea, there isn't much likelihood you're going to convince someone to purchase it. And that's the truth. I really recommend that you watch a few episodes of Shark Tank. That is very instructive. You see successful entrepreneurs who have amassed fortunes by being entrepreneurs, just what you want to do, what you want to be, investing their money in the ideas for products and services that other entrepreneurs bring to them. You'll notice a common thread that they rarely invest unless the entrepreneur has made their own investment and indeed produce some results. If they say, for example, I want to, I want to sell 10% interest in my company for $100,000, the sharks all sit back and say, oh, you're valuing your company at a million dollars in profits. That's what they're talking about when they do their little calculations. They're talking about the profit potential of the business, what percentage they're going to receive for their investment. And you can't really demonstrate a profit potential unless, one, your idea is so astoundingly great that it's obvious it's going to do well. Or two, you actually have, you can show some experience and they'll ask for real numbers. How much did you sell in the last year, the last 10 years? Yeah, it really is hard to get somebody to invest in your business if you haven't done any business yet. I know, I've, I've been there myself many times. And what I had to do was I had to get creative. Let me give you an example of being really creative. I had started an ad agency, or I wanted to start an ad agency. I really didn't have the capital to start an ad agency but I had a customer and I couldn't provide the customer service that he needed because I didn't have the capital to do it. So I went to the customer and I said, you really want my services, don't you? And he said, yes. I had shown him some prototypes of some product packaging that I had developed and he really wanted them. I'd been in competition with major agencies NW Airs out in New York and, and some of the major product packaging houses in Los Angeles. And I won. Yeah, I did that well. But I didn't have the money to go forward from that point. So I said to the customer, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a deal you can't refuse. If you will allow me to pre-bill you half the cost of producing those product packages, and you pay them in advance, I'm going to give you the chance to recoup all of that money. Yeah, that was a deal he couldn't refuse. 
because he'd already seen the product. He wanted it. And here, I was giving him the chance to have it for free. Can't beat that, can you? In this case that I just cited, I actually got an investor in my business. A customer became my investor. Now that's being creative. I'm going to share some other ideas in subsequent postings to this blog series about entrepreneurship on this very subject, because this is an important subject. We can talk about ideas for products and services all day long. We can talk about how you're going to get out there and how hard you're going to work. But the truth is, nothing goes anywhere until you get some money in the hand. It takes money to make money. I know that's been said many times, but it's been said many times because it's true. Good luck.